Oh yeah. Oh no. This is this is not a stain on my shirt actually. This is actually blood from my enemies. After I use Zeus to clear his whole fort. Hey. So today's video we're gonna be doing Endymion Zoo, baby. You don't just get servant of Endymion. You don't just get mastery, but you got oh activate Tanky. Normal summon, Pendulum summon, Thorough Blade, Magician Soul Sun, Tanky, Zeus, your whole board, opponent's board away. Let's go. So today's video is an absolutely amazing combination of Zodiax and Endymion. If you guys like this video, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Also, 40,000 subscribers. Also, don't forget, every single Patreon video moving forward is going to be a supplemental video of every YouTube video that I post. If you guys want to see Endymion Zoo duels, sign on our Patreon right now. They even offer 15% off annually. And if you guys want to get the greatest discounts on Yu-Gi-Oh cards, check all the links down below. If you guys like this video, press the subscribe button, and let's go, baby. Endymion Zoo time! Let's go, let's go, I'm hyped for this one. This deck works so well and synergizes so incredibly well as you guys are about to see in this combo tutorial. And after this combo tutorial, I'm gonna showcase you guys the deck profile. So stay tuned to the whole video to witness both the combo tutorial and the deck profile. And if you guys wanna see duels with this deck, sign up my Patreon. We're gonna show you guys, today I just posted a Damien Zoo. Every single Patreon video will have a supplemental video. And that's what is on now. So let's go. I'm going to showcase you guys this right now. The idea of this deck is very simple. Tanky and Barrage are all spell counters. It's absolutely a wonderful sight of a hole. They're all spell counters. And then after you use their effects, you just send it to the graveyard via Magician Souls. So I love that whole idea of the deck here. Uh, and look at this. That one spell counter. Look at this. So I'm going to master that one spell counter I got from Tanky is going to result in a Servant Resolving. So it gives you free spell counters and it gives you so much pressure. Zeus is so powerful. So now when your opponent is thinking, how am I going to stop my opponent's 10,000 negates? They have another negate to worry about. And that's an Omni 10,000 incredible, not really an Omni negate, but incredible negate. And that is Zeus, baby. So your opponent's going to try and negate all these cards, but they won't be able to because you just end on pending on summoning the Thorough Blade. You still play a hefty spellbook engine because you don't try and normal summon the Zodiac cards. You simply pendulum summon them, unless it's Barrage. So it, you just pendulum summon them. It's very simple. Uh, we're gonna put out as many negates as possible. Mighty Master is gonna pop the tanky, bring up my scale. It's just a free card. Having a tanky or barrage face up on the field helps pendulums tremendously. A lot of people play Mythical Endymion, which I think if you build it properly is good, but a lot of times Institution just sits there and does nothing. You sometimes just souls away the Institution and get no value at the Institution. Well, like this, you got a free Thoroughblade, and Thoroughblade is gonna end on Zeus. Uh, well, going first is gonna end on a fat Dryden, and then if you're going second, the Dryden will end on a Zeus. So what's your opponent going to do against this board? Literally nothing. And going second, you have access to, Dr to Zeus to destroy them. So that's it for the common tutorial. I'm not going to show you guys the deck profile. I love this deck. The deck's amazing. And this is the deck profile. Uh, the Zodiac engine that we play is triple tanky and barrage and Thora and Whiptail. The idea behind it is you want to plus off tanky and barrage. If I could play 10 tankies, I would play 10 tankies. Unfortunately, we aren't allowed to play 10 tankies. It's only a three. So we can play three tanky, one barrage, and you have six ways into the Zodiacs. You don't want to open too many, and you play this specifically one Thoroughblade, one Whiptail, because if you were to draw two of the six Zodiac cards, you could discard the extra one and have another pseudo draw card. That's why Thoroughblade's really cool for Zodiacs and make it a splashable engine in any deck. And whereas if you draw too many Zodiacs, you still end up just drawing the one that you want, just to ensure you have the Zodiac combo. The fact that you play 14 draw cards in this deck. In fact, Thorough Blade might count as a pseudo draw card as well. You always draw into your Zodiacs. Always. Always. So the amount that you guys see is the perfect number. For uh, one servant triple dragon, double reflection. The idea of the double reflection is that uh, with the way we build this deck, it's not like you spam out to make Crowley as much as anymore, but it's more so you need to open a low scale. And the low scale would be the only best one. You have to add one extra reflection. So you added one extra reflection just to ensure we could always have another low scale. This ups our number of low skills in the deck to make sure we can always pen summon. And tip Abductor also counts as a high skill. So Abductor is a pseudo high skill. Thanks to the extra spell cards, we just add a tanky and barrage. So it's just super cool the way the deck goes like this. As you guys see, it's very normal to a pen normal pen on that, except it adds a whole other oomph to allow you to Zeus here. Very, very powerful. So seven triple dark double reflection. One jackal again. All you need triple mighty masters, still two broken. 
one time get triple chrono one thorough one whip tail souls is the absolute mvp in this deck because abductor here you'll normal summon to get the souls if possible and then you just use the souls to send the free tanky and you get a free draw and that's absolutely amazing double blue white double secret to knowledge i just love this ratio one up start one into the void triple desires double triple or one reasoning reasoning is extra crazy in this deck because they'll call like fucking six or something and then they'll just summon out a free thorough blade thank you opponent triple mastery and the four zodiac card as for the side deck uh any deck that's your one long them destroys you put them in usually you keep in uh the, a small zodiac engine at the very least even like one whip tail and double tanky at the very least or something uh post side deck or sorry one tanky one barrage one ta one tank one whip tail something like that but uh one thing is if you're gonna side against combo you do have to take out the zodiac cards against a combo deck because if you're against a combo deck you're gonna need to throw in all these 10 uh, all these uh 12 side cards right here and you're gonna need to make space for that but against any deck that's not extreme combo like if it's like invoked or like dogma i'll keep the zodiacs in you're gonna absolutely have a heyday with them you can destroy their sorry ass one and a half negate boards and then end on zeus on top but if it's like inferno bullet dragon you have to make sure to side all these 12 and create space for yourself uh and uh so yeah it also against uh going sec uh going first you side in the one village and one secrets uh it's a cool lock actually because when they the only way they could play spells is they activate if they st summon a spellcaster but you just dry it pop the spellcaster and now they no longer have a spellcaster it's absolutely hilarious and uh, then against backer decks you have the dino wrestler feather duster reboot try and keep as much of a zodiac engine as possible against backer decks or like random trap decks because just the control version of zeus like the fact that that you clear their board and then you zeus their ass is just too powerful so yeah that's that for the side deck next deck triple selene one crowley one crashy one mascarina one unicorn one axis code one appalooza one vortex one absolute and then the zodiac engine in itself will be the chakanine the borbo the dryden and the zeus this deck is absolutely so fun to play and i highly recommend it for anyone that's a fan of both zodiac and of pendulums I love it. It's absolutely amazing. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to get a people to gameplay in the description down below. Only $30 for limited time only. Get it ASAP before it sells out. Literally a cloth mat. If you guys want one-on-one -on -one pendulum training, make sure to check it out down below on PayPal. One-on-one -on -one pendulum training for two hours for only $30. And lastly, if you guys want to see duels of this deck, Make sure to go check out my Patreon where I just uploaded Duels of Endymion Zoo. And to finish off this video, I'm going to just showcase just a little example of how one of the duels, how duels will typically look like on the Patreon. So if you guys are thinking about signing up for the Patreon, it is 50% off, by the way, for annually. It's really cool. I'm going to witness and showcase you guys a few random duels that I've showed in the last few uh, days on the Patreon just to give you guys an idea of what to expect on the Patreon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. And Demian Zoo, baby, with the release of Zeus. Zodiac cards are now broken again and why not incorporate them in a deck like Endymion? I already talked about this video, uh, this deck in my Patreon, sorry, in my YouTube video. So if you want to check out the YouTube video, go ahead so you can understand the deck better. But the idea behind it is that all the Zodiac cards, you have triple tanky and barrage, synergize so, so well for free spell counters for your servant and abductor and on top of that gives you another card for souls to send to the graveyard for free that you literally search souls all the time in this unfortunately we don't hard draw tanky or barrage he gammas my abductor i'm like oh how sad not really bro you still auto lose yeah it resolves servant i'm like okay yeah you you i i, I lose he didn't get to see the zodiac cards it was very sad i wanted him to see the zodiac cards because then what happened there would be abductor summon out there sorry servant summon out jackal and then uh activate reflection I pendulum summon. I have a Dryden to Celine. Uh, it's crazy. Anyways, we're gonna go to the next game here. Uh, he's he's going he's gonna go off here. He claims that he, he misplayed a bit, uh, not realize that I have I have sphere mode in my hand. I'm like, this is. Do you guys see how broken this this is? You don't even side out too much of the Zodiac engine. You just pendulum summon them. So that's a cool thing about this deck. So like the the last hand, he he gambled me, and he still have Jackal up and lose a Dryden. Uh, and then that's the beauty of Dryden. And then on the following turn, if he somehow cracks that board, the Dryden's turning into a Zeus. So that's why I absolutely love this 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 whole deck. Uh, my hand just absolutely broke in here. I uh, unfortunately got rid of the Mastery. The Mastery was the best card in our hand right there. Uh, got to the high skill with a Pendulum Summon. Uh, and then uh, he he forgot to end phase Carrier. I'm like, yo, don't worry, Sphere Mode your ass. He's like, all right, GG. We're going to show you guys another match now.